everyone, it's Melody with Design by Melody. I'm here today with my Simon Says Stamp Card Kit of the Month review. Now this is going to be my Kill a Kit video and there are quite a few things left in the kit but I'm going to share with you what I've made and my thoughts on the kit. And as always I have my resource guide here available that is on my blog for you to download. It has all the details of the kit and it also has links to all the videos that are associated with this kit. Um, just to recap, I purchased just the month the month one. I'm not doing a subscription. It was $34.99 in the U.S. with $6.99 shipping. And I have listed all the items that are in this kit. So I made four layouts. And I'm really happy with these four layouts. There is still quite a bit left in this kit. But I'm going to go ahead and stop working with the kit right now. And the reason I'm doing that is because this kit has a lot of wonderful items in it. But it's also extremely themed for summer. So I'm kind of running out of um, purposes to use the papers. And I know I can make these beautiful cards and I actually may make a couple of them. I really like that You Are Beautiful one with all the flamingos. But that's how the kit was already designed. And these are not cards that were designed by me. So I didn't really want to um, share that on here because those were designed by other people and they are lovely. They are absolutely lovely. So I might copy a couple of these ideas. So let me share with you the layouts and then I'll share with you what's left in the kit. And so I can't do that card because I, I use that sticker already, but I may be able to use a different word sticker and make the same kind of design. But I had the first two layouts I made were pocket pages. Got a strip of paper there. Were pocket pages. And I, the very, very first thing I did when I opened this kit was punch or die cut some flamingos. And I absolutely love those this whole time. This one and then the next one, you'll see that I punched and cut out something. Not punched, well, stamped and cut out something. This one was a die cut and the other one was just fussy cut. And then I also used throughout this whole process, I used a lot of these word stamps, which are absolutely wonderful. And then put them on some of those really bright, colorful cardstock papers that were in the kit for cards. And use those as sentiments on some of these um, photos. So both, almost all of these, let's see, the two pocket pages I did were pictures from our camping trip to the beach. It was at Easter time actually, but it was at the beach and so I've got some really beautiful colorful colors here and they worked really well with the papers that were in the kit. Here's the second pocket page layout. It's beautiful again. There's that fish that I stamped with the stamp set and just fussy cut out. And I used a little bit of the dimensional adhesive under the tail. Did a little bit of journaling here. But then I just have things from the papers that I cut out. These things were all cut out from the papers. Then I have lots of the stickers that I used and just backed on some white cardstock. They're clear stickers, so I packed them on some white cardstock so you could actually see the design. Do a little bit of stamping with the circle and then punch with the circle punch. And then also um, use some little uh, letter stickers from my stash and created a couple sentiments there. So that's absolutely wonderful. Um, oh, I misspoke. I said that this one was from our camping trip. It's not. It's actually just from the pool here um, in Raleigh, North Carolina last summer. Now the next two layouts actually feature photos that are quite old. Both of these, this photo is probably from... Oh gosh, I don't know, 20 years ago, my sister, this sister is now, um, how old is she? <laughs> She's 29, <laughs> count backwards. I'm five years older than her. She's 29, and look how young she is in this picture. So she's probably about 10 or so in this picture, I'm guessing. And then this next photo here, she's actually probably about only five or so. So even further back but I absolutely love and both of these pictures as you can see this one's a little bit better than that one but the quality of the photos are a little bit different because they are quite old quite a bit older this one's actually really good quality you can see the pink flowers in this one this one has a lot more darker uh, colors in it and things like that but I use the bright colors from the kit with the stickers and all of that to actually cut in that really bright color cardstock uh, card to kind of offset the darkness of the photo. And I absolutely love these last two layouts. There are two 12 by 12 layouts. I really kind of honed in on the cactus stickers that were in the puffy sticker sheet as well as the clear sticker book and then stamped out Stuck on You from that stamp set. And then I used a couple of the stickers here from that, uh, for that sticker book in addition to these cactus 
cactuses or cacti, I'm not really sure. And then pulled out a couple of letter stickers from my stash. I love this layout. And again, the same thing here. I absolutely love this. You can see I used a lot of those stickers. I was getting really into the, the large graphic um, look of the text photo uh, stickers as well as the text stamping. So here's another one of those large stamps that I used. It says, be a flamingo and a flock of pigeons. And I have a little flamingo here. That's another one of those that I had die cut. So isn't that just pretty? Like I absolutely love these. These two layouts have quite a bit of a different feel than these two, but these two feature a lot of the papers that came in the kit, whereas these two don't really have much of those paper. There's a little bit of the um, solid cardstock and then a little bit of the pattern paper here, but that's about it. So two very different styles of layouts, all from the same kit. So that's what I think makes a good versatile kit is when you have, um, you can make multiple types of things with that particular kit. So let's share what's left in the kit. Of course, we have our little guide here, which I've shared already, which is absolutely wonderful. I love that. We also have this stamp set, and this stamp set was so great. It liter literally was so great. I absolutely loved it. I wasn't even sure how much I would use it, but it was absolutely wonderful. And now looking at this one, I never used the pineapple stamp, but I actually think I'm going to go back and do something like that, that same card here it has the pineapple with the sunglasses so I really like that so I have the stamp set of course I'm actually going to go straight down the um, supply list that came on the resource guide that I had so you can see what I've used so I've got the stamp set obviously you're not actually going to use that up so it's definitely still in my stash this is not on my supply list because this is actually the packaging but I did use a couple pieces of it to layer behind one of those photos on the 12 by 12 layout so I'll add that to my layering um, paper stash and then I do want to go ahead and pull out these these washi tapes were one that, that I had just pulled from my stash to add to the kit because the kit did not come with washi tape so those are actually going to come out of there as well Okay, the next thing on my supply list is actually these gold sequins, and I used actually a good amount of these, but you always get so much sequins whenever you get a kit that there's always stuff left over, so I got the sequins. There is the flamingo die, which again is not something that you're going to use up, it's just something that is a supply that you'll have in your stash, but I really like this little guy, he's so cute. There's one of them right there. He's absolutely adorable. So that's going to be one of those things that a tool that goes back into my stash. I also have the envelope. So I didn't actually make any cards. So I have that pink envelope left still here. So I'm going to go ahead and set it aside and maybe go ahead and make a couple cards um, once I get done with this, with this video just to kind of have in my stash. But I do have that envelope left. Now there were 12 sheets of the Cartabella Summer Splash 6x6 paper. So let's see what we have left of that paper. We have pieces. There's very few that are actually still, well there are actually a couple that are still whole. So let's just sort through here. Okay, so we've got some random little scraps here. There was one little piece that I had cut out from one of the um, six by six pa uh, pieces of paper that I was gonna use as an embellishment and I didn't end up using it. Um, and then, so I had 12 total and we have, what, four here that are uncut and then the other nine were cut into. So let's see, so that's four. Well, I can't add. <laughs> the other eight were cut into. So four, we've got one, two, that's that one that I was cut out of, three, four, five. So I have five here. So that means I completely used up three sheets of paper. But as you can see, they're extremely themed for the beach and for the pool. And so I, I had a little bit of a difficult time using these, but that's just how it is whenever you have a very themed kit. And I'm still very, very pleased with the results that I got. So I've got the papers left. Now let's see, we had the American Crafts Amy Tangerine Sunshine and Good Times sticker book. So let's just flip through here. There's a lot left in this book, but I did use a lot as well, you can see. A lot left, especially these butterflies. I didn't use any of those or these words. So I definitely have over half of it left, that's for sure. But I was very happy with what I used. There were 162 stickers in that book. I also have a Sizzix 6x4x6 by by uh, white foam adhesive, and I have 
about half of that left. So that'll definitely go on my stash. It's definitely usable. We also had three pre-scored note cards. And this is what I have left. I have one note card left, but I have just pieces of the other one. I use this just as white cardstock because I knew I wasn't really going to be making the um, actual cards in this kit. I had a hot pink glitter paper. I have a piece of that left, not the full thing. It was four. It was six by six as well. I also have four pieces of cardstock. We had the doll pink, the island blue, the bright yellow, and the green leaf. And we have little bits. There's a few. There's a few things that I had stamped out that I didn't use, so I'll keep those as scraps and put them in my little embellishment bin. Let's see. These are the papers that I have left. I have a bit of the blue a bit of the yellow, most of the green is left, and then some of the pink. So I definitely will keep this in my scrap stash because I can use these. I love, as you can tell, stamping and fussy cutting out. And these were nice, thick pieces of cardstock, so it was definitely fun to work with. And then I have a couple of flamingos that I already punched. I keep saying punch, that I already die cut out, that I'll keep, and I'll actually just kind of put those in my scrap as well. Um, or sometimes I'll store them with the actual die. And then we have, for whatever reason, oh, I missed this one. <laughs> I skipped over this. I have the American Crafts Amy Tangerine Sunshine and Good Times Mini Icon Puffy Stickers. And look, I probably used about half of those. There were 49 here, and I have probably about half of those left. So all I really have left in my little bin here is just my packaging. That's about all. So I will put everything back where it goes. Um, go ahead and put this up. I only have a few things that I'm actually throwing away. I'll show them to you. These are the only little bits that were left in the kit that I'm actually going to throw away. Actually, you know what I'll do? Because y'all know I love my scraps. I'll keep this little banner end. But I'm just going to throw these away. There's not much left and I'm just not going to be using those. So I'll throw those away. And then I've got my bin empty for my next kit. So I'll set that aside. And then I'll just disperse these things back into my stash. I'll put the supplies where they go, I'll put the scraps where they go, and then I'll be ready for the next kit. But I am extremely pleased with this kit. I thought it was fun to work with. Even though it's really geared for card making or geared towards card making, I really found it easy to use on layouts, whether they're 12 by 12, pocket pages, eight and a half by 11, like it really could be versatile for anything and I think the quality of the products you get is pretty good. It is $34.95 but you get some decent tools that are you know you can continue to use over and over and over and over again. These are not going to run out so this is a very large stamp set that alone probably is worth about $15 or so and this die is probably worth five to to seven. I can't remember how much they actually um, go for but you get some really good quality products with this kit. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this one. Please let me know if you have any questions or um, have a suggestion for any other kit. Also, if you're interested in taking any of my classes, please go over to my Patreon page. It'll be linked down below. That's actually where I offer my classes. And right now I'm working on a class. Every Sunday a video goes up for the class or a class episode goes up and it's all about using your scraps. So go check that out if that's something you might be interested in. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining me. I'll talk to you later. Bye.